recently launched Uganda and Kenya Tourism Exchange Program that saw tourism stakeholders visiting each other's country for excursions is slowly boosting tourism numbers. Statistically, has Kenya recently become the number one source market for Uganda with 350,000 Kenyans visiting Uganda as tourists this year. On the other hand, Uganda remains Kenya's second largest source market after America after receiving 150,000 visitors as tourists with about 20,000 visiting the coast region. This was revealed during the Kenya-Uganda conference media launch in Diani in Kuala County ahead of this year's conference and excursion event in November. sent 200, 350, over 1,000 Kenyans visited Uganda. Over 350,000 Kenyans visited Uganda. In the same year, about 150,000 Ugandans visited Kenya. In terms of percentages, Kenya is the number one source market for tourists to Uganda. And Uganda is the number two source market for tourists to Kenya, that is after the US. The broad benefits actually is for our citizens in Uganda and in Kenya. If we have the hotel, the hotels actively participating. Let us not wait for someone in Europe that will depend on tourists from the north. No, I'm very sure if we are organized, let's embrace what is said by the head of from the coastal region have sought to build on tourism diversity through a partnership with the fellow counterparts in Uganda where different tourism destinations within the two countries will complement each other making it easy for Kenyan tourists to visit Uganda and vice versa. Last year, over 350,000 Kenyans toured Uganda, while at least 150,000 Ugandans having visited Kenya. This makes Kenya a number one source market for tourism in Uganda. Ahead of the second Uganda-Kenya Coast Tourism Conference to be held in Kuala County beginning November 13th to December 3rd this year, the stakeholders have lauded the government's efforts to promote tourism, tourism between the two countries, especially by enabling air travel from Entebbe, Uganda to Mombasa. They look forward to leveraging the challenges experienced in the past year to make tourism more diverse, a step that will attract investors within the region. The East African community has been asked to leverage on the uniqueness of products to promote tourism between member states, even as sector players look forward to expand the partnership to other countries. This emerged in Diani Kuala County during a media launch of the second Kenya-Uganda Coast Tourism Conference and excursions slated. Uganda and Kenya coast tourism stakeholders meeting at the famous Diani Beach in Kwale. Uganda's Consular General at Mombasa, Uganda's Private Sector Chief Executive and the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers. They are serious on leveraging the capabilities of partner states, they say, especially Uganda, to tap into the potential of tourism as a business. This year, we want to assess the progress made in the cooperation between Uganda and Kenya Coast since the 2022 conference. We want to create more awareness about the two destinations and the tourism products they offer. We want to enhance the synergies and complementarity between the key tourism players from Uganda and the Kenya Coast. We want to explore investment opportunities in the tourism sector we want to provide a platform for B2B networking, learning and information sharing. From the coast region and the Republic of Uganda have fostered a tourism working relationship that will see the resurgence of domestic tourism between the two countries and beyond.
tackle a bit, but I think it's important that the, the meeting, the reason we're here, the background of it, the conference that we're anticipating, I think it's important that we get a bit of background. Also examining how the Chambers of Commerce can facilitate and streamline investments for our fellow countrymen and women here in Kenya and Uganda. Diani, with its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters and lush green landscapes, has long been recognized as a gem of the Kenyan coast. It is a destination that offers perfect blend of relaxation, adventure and cultural experiences. However, it remains somewhat undiscovered by many Ugandans who seek an idyllic getaway. I came to Diani about six years ago and I've seen um, the energy and seeing the interventions that uh, the members have done. I've seen um, a lot of goodwill from uh, Ambassador Katorebe who preceded you. And it is true that we are all standing on the shoulders of the great men, visionary men and women who went ahead of us to uh, see the big picture and gradually, block by block, uh, continued to build on this uh, for, for this to be happening today. And um, all I would say is that uh, let's continue to see the big picture because I hold the opinion that uh, we are standing at a very, very unique uh, uh, position and time. Passion more so for the tourism conference started last year. And uh, from last year's conference, it was a big success. So we don't take it for granted. We can only leverage on those successes and make it bigger because we realize that Uganda and Kenya Coast, our products complement each other. This is a great day for Uganda Kenya and also for Kenya Association of Travel Agents, Qatar Coast. Uganda Kenya celebrate today the second anniversary of friendship and tourism of the Kenya Coast and Uganda and we're extremely appreciative to them for believing in us, the private sector, to drive the sale that this means life for Uganda as well as for Kenya. At that time I had the chance to visit the people I went to Murchison Falls, we went to Jinja, and we set the nightlife, which this time we did not see. And I tell you, don't miss it. There is no, no, no any standards here. For the direct flights, when I was in Uganda just the other day, for the Lydia launch in Uganda, at the moment we're having a direct flight from U Air Uganda to Mombasa. And there we were told that Kenya Airways now is starting the same. It's very exciting that in a very short time, Kenya is becoming my home. Your Excellency, I've changed my ticket today. I was supposed to leave early morning, but I'm going to stay for next uh, extra two nights. Why? You are all making beautiful statements. I like them. We are thanking our governments. Thank you very much. You are doing a great job. But like. Uh, the previous speaker mentioned I am interested in finding that reason that brings the tourist here and must take this tourist to Uganda or from Uganda to here those are the things we are going to concentrate on back home your excellence my role is I am the head of the private sector associations together we make an apex body but that doesn't stop me from being a bad watcher i'm also a tourist guide and a tour operator but i'm commonly known for training people your excellence we need to focus on the products the ambassador mentioned complementarities we need to discover what we have here that's not on the other side uganda wildlife authority is uh a government statutory agency that manages and protects all the wildlife in and outside the protected areas and with that we have 10 national parks we have 12 wildlife reserves we have sanctuaries and community wildlife management areas that we take care of we want to welcome you our brothers and sisters from Kenya from the coast and specifically from Diani. Because Diani, when you look around, it is like Uganda. The weather feels like I'm in Kampala. It's 
feel so Ugandan, except that of course the nightlife is a bit different. When I was here, I spent most of the time uh, either at the pool or enjoying music. But in Uganda, there's a lot of noise that keeps you awake and makes you active. I bring you warm greetings from the chairman of the Uganda Tourism Board and uh, all the tourism fraternity in Uganda. Um, the Uganda Tourism Board is a statutory body mandated with uh, uh, promotion and marketing of Uganda as a preferred tourism destination. At the same time, we are also in charge of regulation yeah, and uh, standardization in the sector where we ensure that uh, uh, all providers in the tourism and hospitality sector are licensed and regulated uh, accordingly. So as we uh, move towards this kind of cooperation, ensuring that we're dealing with the right people, with the right standards that are seamless across the region is one of the things that we take at heart and it's one of those responsibilities uh, that is granted to us at Uganda Tourism Board. We have the accommodation, we have the general managers, and uh, we are ready to receive you. And uh, as they have said, we are trying as much as possible uh, to make sure that all the tourists that come from Uganda, I mean from Kenya, and uh, international tourists feel comfortable in Uganda. We need more traffic. Both countries enjoy a combined GDP of $160 billion. So population now is 100 million, combined GDP of 160. Your Excellencies, we enjoy a common border of 814 kilometers. Visit Uganda to see this toothpick eating gorilla. You know, <laughs> in Kenya, people who use toothpicks are the meat lovers. Now I know gorillas are herbivorous, and this one is eating a toothpick. So <laughs> I would really like to see what that is all about. So basically, this challenges us all of us here that uh, we need to abandon theories and take practicals as the key weapon towards addressing all these dreams we are sharing here. Otherwise, I, may, I want to appreciate each and every speaker here for the good uh, key areas of focus that everyone has in mind. And I'm very sure if everyone could have been given a mic or time to speak, everyone has a good idea.